Good evening and welcome to our service of midweek evening prayer for June the 2nd. We begin with a call to worship from Celtic Devotions. O oh God, you summon the stars of night to shine. You teach the evening to bid the earth. Great is your name and great is your love. For you, the valleys sing for joy. The trees of the fields clap their hands. Great is your name and great is your love. To you, all monarchs of the earth bow, the poor and persecuted cry out for joy. Great is your name, great is your love. Your love and justice shall last forever, fresh as the sunset, sure as the sunrise to come. Great is your name, great is your love. For all your blessings, God, we give you thanks. Thanks for the food we eat, and for the friends we meet. For each new day we greet, we give you thanks. For growth in faith, O oh God, we give you thanks. When life's dark storms appear and darters hard to bear, for all your holy care we give you thanks. For each day, circle God, we give you thanks. The sun at morning bright, and for moon's pale light, and for our sleep at night, we give you thanks. We continue with a prayer of thanks for creation. For the beauty and wonder of creation, for the riot of colours of flowers in our gardens, for the soft greenness of new leaves, and the magnificence of flowering trees, we thank you, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ for our daily food, for our homes and families and friends, we thank you, Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love, for health, strength and skill to work, and for leisure to rest and play, we thank you, Lord. For those who are brave and courageous, patient in suffering and faithful in, in adversity, for all who pursue peace, justice and truth, and for all holy people whose lives have reflected the light of Christ, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Tonight's scripture is taken from Mark chapter 4, verses 21 to 29. Jesus said to the disciples, is a lamp brought in to be put under the bushel basket or under the bed and not on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be disclosed, nor is anything secret except to come to light. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. And he said to them, pay attention to what you hear. The measure you give will be the measure you get, and still more will be given to you. For to those who have more will be given, and from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. He also said, The kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know why or how. The earth produces of itself first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. For when the grain is ripe, and once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. The word of the Lord. In tonight's scripture, we have two sayings of Jesus. The first part is a shortened version of let your light show shine before others, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven, that comes from Matthew chapter 5. In verse 24, what you give away will determine what you will receive. And then in verse 25, seems to be contradictory. More will be given to those who have, and those who have little will lose the little they have. Has rules that are different from the rules of earthly. Taken together, the sense is that the rules of the kingdom of God are different from those of earthly rules. 
In the second part of the reading, Jesus talks of the fact that we have little control over what grows in our fields and gardens. But as well as this common wisdom, the sense he gives that the kingdom of God also grows stealthily. We don't know how it happens. And that's like the parable of the leaven, where the leaven worked its magic unseen and unknown in the whole of the loaf of bread. We continue with prayers. First from the Carmina Gedelica. Grace of form, grace of voice be thine. Grace of charity, grace of wisdom be thine. Grace of beauty, grace of health be thine. Grace of sea, grace of land be thine. Grace of music, grace of guidance be thine. Grace of life, grace of praise be thine. Grace of love, grace of dancing be thine. Grace of lyre, grace of heart be thine. Grace of sense, grace of reason be thine. Grace of speech, grace of story be thine. And finally, grace of peace, the grace of God be thine. Amen. Gracious and loving Creator, for the wonders all around us, for mountains and plains, lakes, rivers and seas, for forests, birds and animal wildlife, the impossible blue of summer sky and the myriad bright colours of wildflowers, as well as those in our gardens, we give you thanks. For the people with whom we share this miraculous planet, especially those close to us, those we love and those who love us, for friends and neighbours, for the unexpected kindnesses of strangers, we give you thanks. For all those whose gifts and abilities make our lives comfortable and even possible, for those who care for others, for scientists, inventors and engineers, for public servants at all levels of government, we give you thanks. And we complete our prayers by saying a version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Heavenly Creator, may your name be praised in all the world. May we follow what we perceive as your will today and every day. Give us bread enough for today. Keep us in your straight path and help us to forgive those who have hurt us in any way. May we be kept free from all temptations and always remember to offer you praise and glory. Amen. Into the heart of the wild wood I went one day, seeking in peace and contentment a while to stay. Green were the leaves hanging o'er me, and sweet the scent. There in the heart of the wild wood, whither I went. Birds in the branches were singing a song of joy. These all the blossoms were humming in sweet employ, and in the heart of the wild wood there seemed to be one who of old walked in Eden. As we come to the close of our midweek evening prayer this evening, we recite a prayer by Cardinal John Henry Newman. O Lord, support us all the day long in this troublous life, till the shadows lengthen and the evening comes, the busy world is hushed, and the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then in thy mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last. Amen. And we end with a blessing that was written by Richard Raw. May you know the height and the depth, 
May you know the length and the breadth. May you know the love that surpasses knowledge. May you be healed by the love that encompasses all things and know that God's love has already blessed you. For you are indeed a blessed one of God. Amen.